What up, guys? This is Code Destroyer four six seven eight nine ten here. Um, first of all, we're going to do a touching a three D object in uh, AR Kit, uh, registering a tap to a three D object. So you want to go ahead and create your uh, AR application, just like I did, um, and then you want to figure out a name. Uh, it usually takes me a while to figure out names for these things, so I went with touched, and then I was like, nah, nah, that doesn't sound right. Uh, tapping, yeah, tapping three D object. That's that's what we're doing, right? Tapping 3D objects in AR Kit. I should have put in AR Kit because we're doing it in AR Kit. Um, yeah, bit different there. Uh, so saved in my AR apps. Normal, normal setup. Go to your view controller. Um, first thing I always ever do when I create an AR app and I don't want this ship in here, I uh, get rid of it. So you just delete this ship. Get rid of the name. Get rid of everything. Everything. And that exclamation mark, that'll be a bad one if you keep that. Forcing unwrap nothing. Uh, but get rid of the pragma rock. Okay, now, what I usually do is make some room under view to load, keep all the view will appear and view disappear below me. Uh, so to, tatch, to touch or tap a 3D object, we have to create a 3D object. So that's why I'm adding in the uh, cube, uh, like I did in my previous video. Uh, just, you know, keeping it simple, 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 simple. Uh, let box equal SEN box. Uh, setting the width. Remember, it is in actual real life meters, so I don't want to make it too big or else it'll take up too much of my screen. Then uh, I go ahead and create the material, just like I did in my last video. Uh, material equals SEN material, uh, parentheses, and then material dot name. So this is a new one that I didn't do in my last video. We're setting a name to the material so then it can be called later by that name. Okay? Uh, just keep that in mind. Material dot diffuse dot contents. Um, so the, uh, the material of the, the contents of the material, I want it to be UI color red. Uh, then we're going to go box dot materials because there's more than one box on, uh, material on a box. There's six to be exact for every side of the box equals material. So it takes an array there uh, and it sets that one material to every side. Then you got to create your node. Uh, this is going to be the node that we are going to be tapping. Uh, so let box node equal SCN node geometry. Uh, use the geometry uh, box that we just created up above the SEN box. Uh, box dot, box node dot position. Uh, this is where we're going to be putting it. So we're going to use SEN, which is scene vector three. Uh, SEN vector three, sorry. Uh, we're going to use CG floats uh, zero zero and then uh, negative uh, 1.5. So that's 1.5 meters away from us. Uh, so um, it's not directly on top of us. Then, like I didn't do in my last video, uh, we're going to use SCN. Uh, uh, we're going to use scene view <coughs> dot scene dot root node dot child node, and you're going to add in the uh, the uh, box node. Yeah, you guessed it. We're going to add that bad boy into the scene. Um, box node. No, not backslash box node. Um, box node. There we go. Okay, now go up to the top here. View to load. When you when you load your view, you want to add the box node. So I'm going to go uh, actually. I'm doing something completely different. I forgot to set up my scene. Oh my god. Self dot scene view dot AR scene view uh, frame. And, and then I'm going to add self dot view. <laughs> Took me a while to get there. Uh, dot frame. Uh, so this just sets up me frame, uh, me AR frame, you know, uh, just, just helps with things. It's, it's like a sub view. Like, uh, so I can, I can call uh, scene view in other places by uh, adding this one up uh, and just setting those parameters. And then I add the cube there, the cube function. Okay, so now here is where we're gonna add the, uh, the view, like the tapped function. So uh, where we tap on the um, register our tap, really. Uh, so it's gonna be a private function. It's gonna be called gesture recognizer. So Recognizer, I some I for some reason have a dyslexic tick when I try to type that, um, but it just happens. I just can never never figure it out. Once you've made that private function, so private, so it's not being called all the time. So it's only going to be called once it's needed. Uh, let tap gesture recognizer equal UI tap gesture recognizer, uh, and the target is going to be self, and the action is going to be hashtag selector. So we're going to select a uh, objective C function that's not created yet because that's going to be the action. I'm going to call that tapped. And then we go self dot scene view dot add gesture recognizer. Uh, and we're going to add the gesture recognizer we created above with that constant. Um, 
so just just like we did with the box you got to add it into the scene then we're going to create an objective c function uh, called tap which is going to be our action uh, and it's going to take a uh, recognizer um, it's going to take a, a value of recognizer here and it's going to be ui gesture recognizer uh, then we're going to open up the function uh, let scene view equal recognizer dot view as scene view okay so this is setting up where like so we can it can pull the location of where we've tapped uh, and you're going to set it out so the recognizer can know exactly what what's been tapped uh, if it's either the background or it's the node itself so we create touch location equals recognizer dot location in and we make it in the scene view so uh, all these lets are going to be trickling down into each other all these constants uh, and then hit uh, let hit result equal scene view dot hit test uh, touch location. So we're pulling the touch location from uh, that let above touch location equals recognizer dot location. Uh, and then we're going to create our options. We're going to create an empty dictionary there. Uh, you'll find out in a second if hit results dot is empty. But see at the front of hit results, I put an exclamation mark. If hit results is not empty, it's, it's a bit, bit, it's a bit, bit funky there a bit bit mind blowing there but if it's not empty we're going to let the node a let node equal hit result zero so the first one of a dictionary so the first one of a dictionary is not one it's zero so they start counting from zero so the first node that is touch dot node uh, hence the the node part uh, we've got a we're going to change in color of a node we're attaching a node so we want to change the node let material equal node dot geometry dot material uh, name material name remember remember this part from above so we're calling the name of the material here um, and yeah so we can then change it to a different color once it's tapped uh, because this is the action of the tap uh, the, the gesture recognizer up above is just us calling the the gesture uh, this is us actually like the action of the tap so material dot diffuse dot contents equals UI color dot green, just like we did up above uh, for red, but we're just doing it really for green. We'll change it to green once it's tapped. Then up above here, we've got to add the gesture recognizer. Uh, the gesture rec, you don't need to add tapped into the view did load because tapped is coming through is the, is the action that's going to be happening through the gesture recognizer. So as long as gesture recognizer is called here in the view did load, uh, then we're able to use that puppy in the, uh, in the actual app. I'm going to go ahead and run that. So what we should see here with this code is it's going to add a cube to our scene and then it's going to allow us to touch that cube. So of, of course you got to, uh, you can, you can touch it, but it won't happen. Nothing will happen unless you have that touch gesture recognizer with some, with some stuff and boom, turn to green. But, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, I hope it was a bit of a help. Uh, if you did like the video, hit a like, if you are new to the channel, hit a subscribe. Um, Crow Destroyer 12347910 uh, signing off y'all see you in the next one peace